Honduras has severe financial difficulties and future generations are already paying the price. The country's fiscal crisis is stretching the educational system to the breaking point. Teachers are going unpaid, schools are dramatically short of resources, and students are losing class time. CCTV's John Holman has more with his series on the ongoing financial crisis in Honduras. Margarita rushes to get her four children ready for school. Like a third of Honduran mm. families, she has no partner to help her. For me on my own with four children, I ask, what can I do? All of them need things and it's very difficult. Outside their front door, other problems await. Every day, Margarita and her son Elvis walk to school through their gang-controlled neighborhood. Many of the country's young are caught in the conflict between rival gangs. 3,000 have been killed in the last three years alone. At just 10 years old, Elvis is already a potential recruitment target for gangs. I have to keep watch on my boy because children here begin to steal and then are given the taste and move on to other things. Margarita drops him off at a school with no electricity and a roof that leaks so badly that when it rains, lessons have to be abandoned. The government has run out of money for education. Schools all over the country are suffering. Staff have faced months without pay. Elvis's teacher says politicians have other priorities. Right now in this electoral year, there is money to waste on political campaigns, but not for education. The parents here have had to buy the whiteboards, textbooks, and even the chairs their children sit on. With little government help and their own economic problems, many families are forced to send their children out to work. Most Honduran children do complete primary school, but after that, the dropout rate rises significantly. Under a third finish their secondary education. And a quarter of a million don't have a job or an education, like 15-year-old Marjorie, who didn't want to be identified. She collects trash to feed herself and her two-year-old daughter. She dreams of being a lawyer, but in a country where two out of every three children live in poverty, most have no choice but to aim low. Mopping the floor and cleaning the dishes, it's the only thing I could do. The Honduran government insists it does have a long-term plan for future generations. Marjorie can only hope that plan delivers change by the time her daughter goes to school. John Holman, CCTV, Tegucigalpa.